The Weschler Adult Intelligence Scale weighs, is an IQ test designed to measure intelligence and cognitive ability in adults and older adolescents. The original Ways Form I was published in February 1955 by David Weschler, as a revision of the Weschler Bellevue Intelligence Scale, released in 1939. It is currently in its fourth edition, Ways IV, released in 2008 by Pearson, and is the most widely used IQ test, for both adults and older adolescents, in the world. Data collection for the next version, Ways 5, began in 2016 and is projected to be complete in 2019. Topic: History. The Ways is founded on Weschler's definition of intelligence, which he defined as the global capacity of a person to act purposefully, to think rationally, and to deal effectively with his environment. He believed that intelligence was made up of specific elements that could be isolated, defined, and subsequently measured. However, these individual elements were not entirely independent, but were all interrelated. His argument, in other words, is that general intelligence is composed of various specific and interrelated functions or elements that can be individually measured. This theory differed greatly from the Binet scale which, in Weschler's day, was generally considered the supreme authority with regard to intelligence testing. A drastically revised new version of the Binet scale, released in 1937, received a great deal of criticism from David Weschler after whom the original Weschler Bellevue Intelligence Scale and the modern Weschler Adult Intelligence Scale IV are named. Weschler was a very influential advocate for the concept of non-intellective factors, and he felt that the 1937 Binet scale did not do a good job of incorporating these factors into the scale non-intellective factors are variables that contribute to the overall score in intelligence, but are not made up of intelligence-related items. These include things such as lack of confidence, fear of failure, attitudes, etc. Weschler did not agree with the idea of a single score that the Binet test gave. Weschler argued that the Binet scale items were not valid for adult test takers because the items were chosen specifically for use with children. The Binet scale's emphasis on speed, with timed tasks scattered throughout the scale, tended to unduly handicap older adults. Weschler believed that Mental age norms clearly did not apply to adults. Weschler criticized the then existing Binet scale because it did not consider that intellectual performance could deteriorate as a person grew older. These criticisms of the 1937 Binet test helped produce the Weschler Bellevue scale, released in 1939. While this scale has been revised, resulting in the present-day Ways IV, many of the original concepts Weschler argued for, have become standards in psychological testing, including the point scale concept and the performance scale concept. <laughs> Weschler Bellevue Intelligence Scale The Weschler Bellevue tests were innovative in the 1930s because they gathered tasks created for nonclinical purposes for administration as a clinical test battery, used the point scale concept instead of the age scale, and included a non-verbal performance scale. Topic: <laughs> Point scale concept. In the Binet scales prior to the 1986 version, items were grouped according to age level. Each of these age levels was composed of a group of tasks that could be passed by two-thirds to three-quarters of the individuals in that level. This meant that items were not arranged according to content. Additionally, an individual taking a Binet test would only receive credit if a certain number of the tasks were completed. 
This meant that falling short just one task required for the credit, resulted in no credit at all for example, if passing three out of four tasks was required to receive credit, then passing two yielded no credit. The point scale concept significantly changed the way testing was done by assigning credits or points to each item. This had two large effects. First, this allowed items to be grouped according to content. Second, participants were able to receive a set number of points or credits for each item passed. The result was a test that could be made up of different content areas or subtests with both an overall score and a score for each content area. In turn, this allowed for an analysis to be made of an individual's ability in a variety of content areas as opposed to one general score. Topic. The Non-Verbal Performance Scale The Non-Verbal Performance Scale was also a critical difference from the Binet Scale. Since the early Binet Scale had been persistently and consistently criticized for its emphasis on language and verbal skills, Weschler made an entire scale that allowed the measurement of nonverbal intelligence. This became known as a performance scale. Essentially, this scale required a subject to do something such as copying symbols or point to a missing detail, rather than just answer questions. This was an important development as it attempted to overcome biases that were caused by language, culture, and education. Further, this scale also provided an opportunity to observe a different type of behavior because something physical was required. Clinicians were able to observe how a participant reacted to the longer interval of sustained effort, concentration, and attention that the performance tasks required. While the Weschler Bellevue scale was the first to effectively use the performance scale, meaning that one, there was a possibility of directly comparing an individual's verbal and nonverbal intelligence, and two, that the results of both scales were expressed in comparable units. The idea had been around for a while. The Binet scale did have performance tasks although they were geared towards children and there were entire tests that were considered supplements or alternatives an example of such a performance test is the Leiter International Performance Scale. Topic. Ways The Ways was initially created as a revision of the Weschler Bellevue Intelligence Scale, WBIS, which was a battery of tests published by Weschler in 1939. The WBIS was composed of subtests that could be found in various other intelligence tests of the time, such as Robert Yerke's Army Testing Program and the Bennett Simon Scale. The Ways was first released in February 1955 by David Weschler. Because the Weschler tests included non-verbal items known as performance scales as well as verbal items for all test takers, and because the 1960 form of Lewis Terman's Stanford Binet Intelligence Scales was less carefully developed than previous versions, Form I of the Ways surpassed the Stanford Binet tests in popularity by the 1960s. Topic. Ways are The Ways R, a revised form of the Ways, was released in 1981 and consisted of six verbal and five performance subtests. The verbal tests were, information, comprehension, arithmetic, digit span, similarities, and vocabulary. The performance subtests were, picture arrangement, picture completion, block design, object assembly, and digit symbol. A verbal IQ, performance IQ and full-scale IQ were obtained. This revised edition did not provide new validity data, but used the data from the original ways. However, new norms were provided, carefully stratified. Topic: Ways 3 The Ways 3, a subsequent revision of the Ways and the Ways R, was released in 1997. 
It provided scores for verbal IQ, performance IQ, and full-scale IQ, along with four secondary indices verbal comprehension, working memory, perceptual organization, and processing speed. Topic. Verbal IQ VIQ. Included seven tests and provided two subindexes, verbal comprehension and working memory. The Verbal Comprehension Index VCI included the following tests. Information Similarities Vocabulary the Working Memory Index WMI included Arithmetic Digit span letter number sequencing and comprehension are not included in these indices, but are used as substitutions for spoiled subtests within the WMI and VCI, respectively. Topic: <laughs> Performance IQ, PIQ. Included six tests and it also provided two subindexes, perceptual organization and processing speed. The perceptual organization index POI, included block design, matrix reasoning, picture completion. The processing speed index PSI, included digit symbol coding, Symbol Search 2 tests, picture arrangement and object assembly were not included in the indexes. Object assembly is not included in the PIQ. Topic. Ways IV The current version of the test, the Waze IV, which was released in 2008, is composed of 10 core subtests and 5 supplemental subtests, with the 10 core subtests comprising the full-scale IQ. With the new Waze IV, the verbal, performance subscales from previous versions were removed and replaced by the index scores. The General Ability Index guy was included, which consists of the similarities, vocabulary and information subtests from the Verbal Comprehension Index and the Block Design, Matrix Reasoning and Visual Puzzle subtests from the Perceptual Reasoning Index. The guy is clinically useful because it can be used as a measure of cognitive abilities that are less vulnerable to impairments of processing and working memory. Topic. Index scores and scales There are four index scores representing major components of intelligence Verbal Comprehension Index VCI. Perceptual Reasoning Index PRI. Working Memory Index WMI. Processing Speed Index PSI, two broad scores, which can be used to summarize general intellectual abilities, can also be derived. Full Scale IQ, FSIQ, based on the total combined performance of the VCI, PRI, WMI, and PSI. General Ability Index, GAI, based only on the six subtests that the VCI and PRI comprise. Topic. Standardization The Waze IV was standardized on a sample of 2,200 people in the United States ranging in age from 16 to 90. An extension of the standardization has been conducted with 688 Canadians in the same age range. Topic. Age range and uses The Waze IV measure is appropriate for use with individuals aged 16 to 90 years. For individuals under 16 years, the Weschler Intelligence Scale for Children WISC, 6 to 16 years, and the Weschler Preschool and Primary Scale of Intelligence WPPSI, 2 and a half minus 7 years, 7 months are used. Intelligence tests may be utilized in populations with psychiatric illness or brain injury, in order to assess level of cognitive functioning, though some regard this use as controversial. 
Rehabilitation psychologists and neuropsychologists use the Waze IV and other neuropsychological tests to assess how the brain is functioning after injury. Specific subtests provide information on a specific cognitive function. For example, digit span may be used to get a sense of attentional difficulties. Others employ the Waze R N E Weschler Adult Intelligence Scale, revised as a neuropsychological instrument, another measure published by Harcourt. Each subtest score is tallied and calculated with respect to neurotypical or brain injury norms. As the Waze is developed for the average, non-injured individual, separate norms were developed for appropriate comparison among similar functioning individuals. WASI Weschler Abbreviated Scale of Intelligence WASI is a very short form of estimating intellectual functioning. Topic. See also Weschler Intelligence Scale for Children